Welcome to this short video where I'm going to show you the IM injection equipment um, up close and also just demonstrate that IM injection technique for part of your NMC OSCE IM injection clinical skills station or if you're just a student there studying for your OSCEs or for practice as well. So the equipment that we need for our IM injection, we need a two mil syringe. We're thinking about this as being a um, aseptic kind of non-touch technique so we want to make sure our packaging is in date and it, um, it's not um, open or broken. We need our drawing up needle so our filter needle and um, so these are pink or sometimes red and they've got a little filter in them to stop any kind of um, rubber or glass from your vial going into your syringe. Again we want to check that the packaging is all intact and in date. And we need our IM administration needle so we can use a green which is a 21 gauge or a blue, which is a 20 gauge. Green is slightly longer, slightly thicker, um, so less painful to deliver the medication. Also will reach the intramuscular um, site um, better. If your patient is very frail with not much um, subcutaneous tissue, then a blue needle is fine as well. We need our shards box. We'll obviously need our medication. So we don't need to use PPE, but we do need to make sure we're using clean hand hygiene techniques. OK, so before we set up and prepare, we're going to decontaminate our hands using those seven steps using alcohol gel. And we want to make sure we are using a non touch technique um, and not contaminating the key parts of this equipment. So I'm going to open my syringe. So this is my key part. I don't want to contaminate that. I'm going to open up my filter needle and connect that onto my syringe. I'm going to get my medication, which I've already checked and confirmed that it's the correct medication, the dose and the expiry date. I've got hydroxocobalamin, five milligrams in five mils, expires 0227. So I'm going to um, draw up one milligram, which is one mil, which is, will be on my prescription. Um, I don't need to clean this in the test centre. This will be a single dose vial where you'll take the top off. Um, mine hasn't because we just reused to help um, with sustainability. Um, but we don't need to clean this. It's not a multi-dose vial like an insulin, for example. I'm going to invert my vial and I'm going to draw back my one mil. I'm just going to expel any air. Okay. And we can't resheath your needles in your NMC OSCE exam. So what we want to do is just very carefully um, unscrew it from the um, plastic cup here and we'll put that directly into our sharps bin. Okay. I don't teach um, putting the syringe into the sharps bin and um, removing the needle that way. Actually, it's not particularly good infection control um, policy, really, um, because you can contaminate that um, syringe um, with that sharps box, which is potentially dirty. We're then going to get our IM injection needle and we want to firmly secure this until it clicks onto the end of our syringe. Okay, we're going to um, make sure the patient area is exposed and the patient is ready for the procedure and we're going to decontaminate our hands using the World Health Organization. Seven steps again and we're going to administer our IM injection. So these are, this is a safety cap, so we're going to put this down, we're going to take off our needle. When we're delivering an eye injection, we want to stretch the skin, okay, so stretching the skin um, exposes the intramuscular layer, but it also provides like what we call a Z track, so when you take the needle out and release the stretch, it kind of um, self heals or self seals a little bit um, the um, injection track site so to prevent the medication from tracking out um, of the patient so we're going to hold it between our thumb and forefinger we're going to stretch the skin and I'm going to go in at, a, at, a, at an angle of 90 degrees so injection coming now we want to go in so there's still a centimeter of that um, needle exposed and that's because if I did go all the way into the into the hill and that needle snapped off, the patient moves suddenly, we wouldn't be able to retrieve that needle e easily. So we want to go in with a centimetre, okay? Because we're going in in the deltoid, we don't need to aspirate back any blood. There's no risk of us um, hitting any kind of vascular um, artery there. And we're going to administer this medication whilst maintaining the stretch for 
10 seconds for every one mil. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We then need to wait 10 seconds, again, maintaining the stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to remove the needle, remove our stretch. We're going to put this directly into our sharp spin. We can cap off our needle on the side of the sharp spin. Make sure you don't do that with your fingers. And we're going to put everything into our sharps container. We get our piece of gauze, just place that over the area and not massage the site. Um, and then we check the patient is comfortable, put the covers back on, decontaminate our hands again and complete our documentation. So remember with your IM injection, it is a clean, non-touch technique. We don't want to contaminate the key parts. We need a filter, filter needle, an administration needle and our syringe. We don't need to clean the skin with chlorhexidine wipes. We just need to confirm that the skin is visibly clean and make sure we've checked it for any signs of inflammation, swelling, skin lesions, etc. Prepare your medication in a non-touch technique um, and clean, making sure you have decontaminated your hands at the correct point. Stretch the skin 90 degrees, leaving one centimeter of the needle exposed. And we're going to administer one mil every 10 seconds. And then we're going to wait 10 seconds, removing the needle releasing the stretched skin and disposing of our sharps correctly into the waste bin.